and welcome to this week's news bulletin from the Christian Institute. The nationwide hotel chain Travel Lodge has removed Bibles from all of its rooms in a move criticised by the Church of England. Bibles provided free by the Gideons have been taken away to avoid discriminating against other religions. The removals reportedly took place after refurbishment work across the hotel chain, which replaced the drawers where Bibles were being kept. Responding to the hotel's actions, a spokesman for the Church of England said, It seems both tragic and bizarre that hotels would remove the Word of God for the sake of ergonomic design. In an official statement, Travelodge said that its decision was based on customer research and the fact that we live in a multicultural society. Travelodge is the only hotel chain in the country to have removed the Bibles, despite having never received a complaint from a guest. The Prime Minister has promised to tackle inappropriate online music videos in a major speech on the family. However, in the same speech, he also praised the recent redefinition of marriage. Speaking about music videos, David Cameron said, Rules that apply offline should exist online. If you buy a music video offline, there is an age restriction on it, and the same should apply to the internet. The BPI, which represents the recorded music industry in the UK, said technical details are still being developed, but the scheme will see content classified into 12, 15 or 18 age categories. Speaking about same-sex marriage, the Prime Minister commented, When people's love is divided by law, it is the law that needs to change. So we've changed it. Commentator Laura Perrin said that Mr Cameron's remarks were made to balance him out in the eyes of the hip and modern. Children are being affected by graphic content in video games, including violence and prostitution, a YouGov survey has found. One in four parents said they noticed a negative change in behaviour when their children play certain video games. A third of parents interviewed felt that gaming was occupying so much of their child's time that it was hampering their physical activity. The survey asked parents about their children's interaction with 18-rated games, including Grand Theft Auto, made by Rockstar Games, and Call of Duty, made by Activision. Child protection expert Sharon Gerling believes part of the problem is that many parents do not understand how graphic the games are, even if they are age-rated. She said, I listen to the language that some of these young people are starting to use, and they are not getting it from television. They are actually getting it from the games. 80% of teenagers believe it is too easy to stumble across pornography online, according to a new survey. In a poll of 518 year olds, almost three quarters believe that pornography leads to unrealistic attitudes about sex. Most of the young women questioned said that growing up would be easier if pornography was harder to access. Overall, more than 60% said people are too casual about sex and relationships. The poll also discussed sex and relationship education and found that more believed it should begin at secondary school than at primary school. The survey was carried out for the IPPR think tank. Dahlia ben Gallum from the group said, This new polling data shows that pornographic images are pervasive in teenagers' lives. It paints a worrying picture about the way online pornography is shaping the attitudes and behaviour of young people. Richard Dawkins has said it would be immoral not to abort a child with Down syndrome. However, a mum whose son has the condition says she loves him unconditionally. Writing on Twitter, Richard Dawkins said Downs is one of the most moral reasons to have an early abortion. Responding to a message on the social networking site, he also said someone who knew they were carrying a child with Down syndrome should abort it and try again. It would be immoral to bring it into the world if you have the choice. In an article published before the atheist author's comments, mum Caroline White said that babies cannot be treated like a commodity, an accessory and a right. And responding to the Twitter remarks, Caroline said her six-year-old son, Seb, breathed so much energy into their family and she couldn't imagine life without him. Well, that's all for this week. For more information and regular updates on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>